of the internet, a place of the weird and bizarre at the depths of Tumblr. But the internet is also a place of connection between family and friends. And in the midst of the emergence of social networking applications, Snapchat has seen to be taking over Instagram for the past two years. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is swiping their phones to open snaps from the people high up there like the Kardashian-Jenner clan to the boring people like us. But what if I told you that there's a reason why Snapchat spiked out of nowhere? That there's actually a theory, a structure, and a model all explained by this one guy in the 1970s, way before the internet was born. Doesn't he look like a cute, shriveled up Dwayne Johnson? Stuart Hall is a Jamaican-born cultural theorist, political activist, and sociologist who lived and worked in the UK. He's actually considered one of the founding fathers of the Birmingham School of Cultural Studies. He talked about hegemony, black representation, and mass media and television. For this video, I'm going to be talking about his essay entitled Encoding Slash Decoding, where he gave a theory of mass communication in the means of Snapchat. And this may explain why it has triumphed over Instagram for the past two years. Snapchat is a social networking application where you can send pictures and videos to your friends and they disappear once opened. This story feature allows anyone to view your pictures and videos in the span of 24 hours. And celebrities use this advertisement, recording their routines and stupid things in general like this guy. Nevertheless, it's a great way to communicate with fans. The third model of oral communication was a linear transition model. It was based on the notion that comprehension on the part of the listener is a kind of mirror on the speaker's initial processing of a thought. There is also an assumption that a fixed code is shared. Roman Jakobsen's model, on the other hand, moved beyond Susser's basic transmission model of communication. It highlighted the importance of codes and social contexts involved. He argues that in any given situation, one of these factors is dominant and it influences the general character of the message. While these two models have been concerned with interpersonal communication, Stuart Hall proposed a model of mass communication that highlighted the importance of active interpretation within relevant codes. Mass media codes offer the readers, in this case Snapchatters, these social identities which some may adopt as their own. Hall argued that mass media texts, or in this case Snapchats, tend to be closed texts because they are broadcasted to diverse audiences that decode texts differently. Oh. Sorry. Did you guys pick up on that? Uh oh, she's looking at us. There exists four stages of his theory of communication. First is production. Circulation. Distribution. And reproduction. He was talking about FousiTube because FousiTube responded. Stuart Hall stressed the role of social positioning in the interpretation of mass media texts by different social groups. He suggested three hypothetical interpretative codes or positions for the reader, or in this case, viewer of Snapchat. The first is a dominant or hegemonic reading. There already exists a pattern of preferred snaps to view, and in this case, funny ones, and these sort of become the ideal. The key to more success is using the right soap. I only use dub. Dub soap. Trust me. Trust me. This is where the person viewing the snap fully accepts the code and accepts it and reproduces it. It seems natural and transparent. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. Capitalism also makes an appearance here. In this snap, Justin Bieber is seen playing a guitar while singing into his phone and posts it. 
This translates into millions and millions of fangirls waiting outside on their phones into dollar bills, flowing into both Snapchat and Justin's pockets. The second is a negotiated breeding, where the person viewing this Snapchat party shares the snap's meaning and understands it, except the person also disagrees and modifies it in a way that reflects their own experiences and interests. So hard, she keeps the house clean, she do everything, you know? She called big things, you feel me? Garnet Silk! While Kylie and DJ Khaled may live luxurious lifestyles, maybe their financial choices aren't so great in the eyes of a person in the middle class. The final reading is oppositional or the counter hegemonic reading. The They're person the viewing the Snapchat well. is in a social situation that places them directly oppositional relation to the dominant or ideal code. <laughs> they understand it, but they also reject the reading and bears an alternative frame of reference. Many critics say Hall's model encourages stereotyping or essentializing the reader where positions are supposed to be discontinuous. However, this dude David Morley declined this and said that any individual or group can operate different decoding strategies in relation to different topics. He noted that in interpreting viewers' readings of mass media, text attention should not pay not only to the issue of agreement, but to enjoyment, comprehension, and relevance. Because at the end of the day, people are just trying to live out their lives, record the happy moments, and relive their glory days in the means of Snapchat.